Hey guys, it's Cal, and for today's video, we are recreating my Coachella Festival makeup look just because you guys have requested this, and I have a bunch of new makeup products to share with you guys. The main focus of this video is definitely going to be really fresh, highlighted, dewy skin. I can't wait to get into this video. If you want to follow me on my Instagram, it's at Callie Kaiser. But without further ado, here we go. To start any makeup look, I always have to make sure my base is hydrated. So today I'm taking the Glam Glow Glow Starter. This is their Mega Illuminating Moisturizer. It is amazing. It has a bunch of nutrients, botanicals, and teoxy in it, which is a golden root technology that just floods out dull skin and completely hydrates and moisturizes it, which is exactly what I need. Plus, this makes it look like I highlighted my entire face, which everyone loves highlighter in 2017. This is literally the prettiest color ever. So I'm just using this as a moisturizer and I'm putting this all over my face. As you guys can see, it's a little bit tinted. So it just brings my face to life, which is amazing. Oh, it looks so dewy and fresh. So I was at the beach all day today and I'm an idiot. I fell asleep in the sand with a sweater on and I didn't have sunscreen on and this is what happened to me. There's holes on my back. I don't know if you guys can see it, but but there's literally the shape of a sweater on my skin, on my back. And I don't know how long it's gonna last. I haven't gotten sunburn like this in so long. So I'll keep you guys updated. Okay, and then once I put that all over my entire face, you can just see how glowy and hydrated it looks. So now we're going to go in with what our foundation is, and I'm using the It Cosmetics CC Cream, and this is also SPF 50, which is really nice, so you don't get sunburned. I just put a little bit on my hand, and I just apply this with a beauty blender. I like the actual beauty blenders, and this is just pretty damp. I love when my freckles show through, so that's why we're using a CC cream today. And when I was at a festival all day long, it's way better to have a CC cream on your face than a full coverage foundation. That's just what I think personally. Okay, once we have our foundation base on, I like to go in with my Glam Glow Plump Arrages. I use this in every makeup tutorial ever, and I love this because it's a lip plumper. It's such a good lip treatment. I leave this on all the way while I do my makeup, because then I don't have any chapped lips by the end, and it looks so good when you put lipstick on. I recently picked this up. It's the Hula Quickie Contour Stick. It is so creamy, so I'm just going to be... Putting this on my face. It slides on so easy. I don't know if you guys can tell. And it blends out so nicely on the face. And it won't remove anything underneath. Now to highlight the face, I'm going to be using another Glam Glow Glow Starter. The shade is just so much lighter. It is their Nude Glow. And I'm using this as a highlight on my cheekbone. I'm putting it on my nose and on my cupid's bow. You guys will see how amazing this looks. I love dewy looks. I'm not even going to be setting a lot of my face because this will look so good. So I just take it on my finger. You can take it on a beauty blender as well. And this is what's gonna give your skin a really nice, dewy, almost that wet look. I love highlighters that make my skin seem wet and really fresh at the same time, which a lot of you guys compliment on my Instagram photos. I also put this underneath my eyebrows before we're going in for our makeup look. I'm taking my Glossier Boy Brow, and this is in the shade Blonde. And I just lightly brush this through my eyebrows. It keeps them in place all day long, so you don't have to use another eyebrow setter on top of this. Otherwise, I would just take a chapstick that you have if you wanna set your eyebrows, but you don't own an eyebrow setter. And then I'm gonna be taking my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in the shade Dim Light. 
on just a really small tapered highlighting brush. And I'm just going over the cream bronzer to, to give it, to give my face a little bit more shape. I love how natural this product is. Okay, to start our eyeshadow, I'm going to be taking the Natasha Denona palette and I'm really focusing on the warm colors in here. So I'm mostly just going to be focusing on these three colors and I'll use this as kind of an inner corner highlight right here. So to start, I'm just taking my tapered blending brush from IT Cosmetics and I'm dipping into this gold color to kind of set. We're doing a really simple eye look today. It's going to be just as glowy as the face and we're going to add some glitter to the middle of our eyelid as well. Okay, and then I'm taking the same brush, dipping into this really pretty, warm, it's kind of like a rose copper color. I'm going to be putting that all over my crease because I really want it to show behind the glitter I'm going to be putting on my eyelid. I'm switching brushes and I'm just taking a little bit of this darker brown color on the Morphe E17 brush. Tap off any excess. I'm just putting this in the crease outer corner. It's just creating more dimension to my eyes so it doesn't seem so flat. I'm taking the Royal Anne Lang Nickel Evolution BX95 brush and I'm just putting all the colors that I put on my eye on the lower lash line. The Dirty Penny Shade, and this is the Space Paste. It is from the brand Lemonhead. It's made in Los Angeles. It's really cool because it's a glittery gel that doesn't move once it dries on your face, so that's really nice. I'm just taking this really small Real Techniques brush and I'm dipping in. And we're just going to be putting this glitter, focusing it towards more of the inner corner of the eye, but basically all over the middle of the lid. Once you are done with that, I'm not going to add any mascara just because I have eyelash extensions, so I don't need to add any mascara. But I do want to add a little bit more warmth to the face, so I'm taking this IT Cosmetics Skin Transforming Healthy Flush Blushing Bronzer. It's really cool because you can choose which color you kind of want. So I'm taking the IT Cosmetics brush and I just kind of brush it through. We're just going to add a little bit more warmth to our face. I'm just putting this right below our highlighter. And then for our lips, I haven't used this shade in so long. It's by MAC. It's their kind of sexy matte. And I'm just going to be putting this a little bit on the lower bottom and the upper bottom. Just because we're adding gloss on top. But I just want to have a pigmentation under the lips that will show through really nicely. Kylie. Um, so cute gloss on top of this. Again, this is a little bit of a full coverage gloss, so we're just adding a little. And that is the completed makeup look. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I love the warm, coppery eyes and the really warm, glowy, dewy skin as well. I hope you guys love this video. Everything will be linked down below, including the Glam Glow Glow Starters. I hope you guys have an awesome day. Bye, I love you.